Governor DeSantis hitting the campaign trail. Today, DeSantis took his presidential campaign to New Hampshire. The governor stopping at four places in the Granite State as part of the Great American Comeback Tour. CBS 12's America, uh, Amber Robb joins us with how the governor's strategy might help him with voters. Today, Governor Ron DeSantis's focus was on how his past has benefited the state of Florida and what he hopes to do for the country. He also spoke about flying migrants to Martha's Vineyard, the parental rights and education law, and Florida's economy. <laughs> Governor Ron DeSantis taking the stage in several parts of the Granite State Thursday, urging voters to support him as the next president of the United States. I'm running for president because I think American decline is not inevitable. It's a choice, and we have it within our power to choose a better path, a path that will lead to a revival of the American country and the American spirit. DeSantis touting his achievements in the Sunshine State, especially his education initiatives. We've eliminated critical race theory from our K-12 through schools. We're not teaching kids to hate our country or to hate each other with your tax dollars. The governor also boasting his handling of the border crisis. We've enacted strong policies to combat illegal immigration, including banning sanctuary cities, including sending our National Guard to help at the southern border, uh, and even sending illegal aliens to beautiful Martha's Vineyard, which... Political expert Stephen Neely says this is a smart move by DeSantis. If you're, if you're in Governor DeSantis' shoes right now, the key is showing that you're a winner who can deliver on the policies that early voters and or the voters in these early Republican states are going to want to see delivered. Neely says while this shows the governor is a man of his word, it's not enough to win the Republican nomination. He needs to make more pointed contrast between himself and former President Donald Trump. He will need to more specifically and more pointedly draw those contrasts in order to really set himself apart and to win the nomination. Neely says so far DeSantis has taken only very subtle jabs at his main Republican opponent, but if he wants to secure that nomination, he's going to have to take more pointed jabs at the former president. Reporting in West Palm Beach, I'm Amber Robb, CBS 12 News.